What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having an amazing day today. We are back yet again bringing you guys some more competitive ranked double battles for Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield. In today's video, we got ourselves an absolute banger of a team for you guys. We got ourselves a Vicavolt, I should say Life Orb Vicavolt Trick Room team that also features Weakness Policy and Cinnamon. You guys already know the deal. If you do enjoy the content anytime, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, definitely consider subscribing. It only takes two seconds of your guys' time and really goes a long way with helping me grow as a content creator. So I give a huge shout out to each and every one of my subscribers. But this team right here is actually sent in by a fan right here. My boy, Gail. Gail, shout out to you for leaving this team in my Twitter DMs. I really appreciate it. If you guys want to leave me rental codes or teams, definitely tweet at me over on my Twitter. Link is down in the description below. Jeans YouTube over on Twitter. You guys can DM me. You guys can tweet at me. Either or. So huge shout out to Gail. If you guys want to send me teams, link down in the description below. But let's get started here with today's team preview. Starting off with Vickavolt in that top left corner. Absolutely love this Pokemon. I think it has such a cool design. It is Bug and Electric type with a Levitate ability and then it's Rocket up Life Orb as item. It's got Bug Buzz for Stab, Thunderbolt for Stab. We also have Air Slash for a coverage move. And last but not least, we are Rock and Protect. Second Pokemon is going to be Zacian over here. And this Zacian's a little different. It's got the Interpret Sword, Rustle Sword as item and ability, obviously. And then it's got Iron Head and Play Rough, both for stab. And then it's got a Wild Charge move. Pretty cool. Pretty cool coverage move. Cannot wait to use it. Cannot wait to get rocking with that. Last nice move is going to be Protect. And that's our Zacian right there. Middle left is going to be Zapdos over here. One of the best item X mods, in my opinion. It's so good. It is really good. It resists a lot of different shots. And its typing is just phenomenal with flying and electric we got hurricane we got thunder we got heat wave for coverage and we got protect then we got static and safety goggles as our item and ability fourth pokemon is going to be kai ogre this kai ogre is fairly normal it just works so well on any team it's got drizzle mystic water and then it's got water spout origin pulse thunder and protect bottom left hand corner is going to be our trick room pokemon it is going to be slow king over here with the oblivious ability alongside with that wakan berry so we can soak up an electric shot we got Trick Room, we got Scald for Stab, we got Bulldoze to actually slow down opposing Pokemon, and Proc and Sonora's Weakness Policy. Then last but not least, we got Flamethrower for our bonus coverage move. Final Pokemon on the team is going to be Incineroar over here. And it's actually really cool that we're going to be using this Incineroar right here because it's so different from every other Incineroar that we're used to seeing. It's got that Weakness Policy, obviously it's Rock and Intimidate, and then it's got Fake Out, Flare Blitz, Snarl, and Earthquake. Really cool moveset, you can Dynamax this guy or you can use him normally for support. Guys, if you want to try this team for yourself, but the code is at the bottom of the screen. But let's get after it. Let's hop on that ranked double ladder. Look to get some wins with this Life Orb, Vickable, and Weakness Policy in Cinnamon team. First battle coming at you guys. We are going up against a heavy meta team. So if we can grab ourselves a win here and we'll out strong with this squad. We're going up against a Charizard Groudon team with Regilecki, Incineroar, Shadow Rider Kylarx, and Shadow Tag Gothitelle. How should I go into this one? How should I lead it? I mean, the only way he counters up Trick Room is if he has a Trick Room Pokemon. And that would probably be like... A Pokemon like Gothitelle, but we have Oblivious, which is great. We do have Oblivious. I really like that. It helps us stop from uh, falling from taunts, which I adore. Which I adore. So you know what? I'm gonna go for the Trick Room setup, or I could straight up just lead Zapdos. I think I'm just gonna go Slow King and Sinor Vickable. Actually, do I even bring Vickable? I might just lead like a Pokemon like Zassian. Just suppose a Threat Turn one. I can always protect them too. He might lead Shadow Rider Calyx, which could be a problem. It could indeed be a problem. We do not like that. Um, what do I want to do? Do I want to do it? Do I want to lead Zacian? I kind of want to lead Zacian. And then bring Vickavol in the back end with Kyogre. I just think that's a good... I, think, I just think that's a good idea, right? It's sounding good, you know? It's definitely sounding good. Let's see what he does. Shadow Rider Kylox is definitely a threat, but I would love to pop off this Trick Room. I would love to pop off this Trick Room. We'll see. We shall see how this one plays, but I definitely want to get Vickavol out there. Vickavol could do a lot of work in the Trick Room because it's so slow. I don't know why it's so slow. It looks like a speedy little bug. It's electric and bug. It looks like one of the fastest Pokemon in the game, but it's one of the slowest, which is hilarious. But he's going to end up going into this, and at this point, um, I do have Wild Charge. I do indeed have Wild Charge. Gothel does have Fake Out. Um, I could Protect. I think I'm just going to pop the Trick Room and go after Charizard. I mean, if Zassian goes down, Zassian goes down. Like, it's not that big of a deal, you know? It's not that big of a deal at this point. I could drop a Behemoth Blade, or I think I'm just going to go for a Wild Charge. You know? Wild Charge a shot. I'm with it all day. I'm with it all day. He might hard swap in a Groudon with the Shadow Attack, but we can't swap out, which is totally fine. But I wonder what he's going to do with Charizard. Is he going to stay in? He does have one Fake Out Turn with tell and I, I believe he's going to send it all to this Assy, which I'm totally fine with. But he might not, considering we have Sloking out here, and he might think that we're uh, we're looking to pop a Trick. Let's see what he does. And Oblivious might stop Fake Outs. He might not get flinched from it, which might be really nice. I think it kind of works like Inner Focus, just like better for Trick Room users, you know? Whereas Inner Focus is better against like Intimidate users. 
We shall see. We shall see. But I'm really digging this team right here. I'm really digging this team just the way it looks. Hopefully, we can grab someone with it. He's going to end up Dynamaxing the Charizard. Uh, that's totally fine. I mean, if he goes after Zassian with the Charizard, I can really be down for that. I don't mind it too much. But we'll see. We shall see. Because I would love to get off this Trick Room. And then I wouldn't mind Zassian dying because I can just get out Vicavolt and roll from there. Because Vicavolt's the man. Vicavolt's the man. Love him. He's going to end up not faking out. So we get off this Wild Charge and Zassian. That damage is ridiculous. He's going to go for an airstream, and he might have thought I was protecting here. He's going to go for Slow King. Slow King's going to be able to soak up all day. I really do like this. And it's Goth Tail going for Trick Room, Trick Room here. Please don't tell me Goth Tail's going for Trick Room, Trick Room. I don't know what he's doing. No, he's going to go for a Hypnosis. Are you kidding me? He puts me to sleep. Are you kidding me? Get out of my face. He puts me to sleep. Wow. And he ends up landing that, which is kind of, kind of lucky, man. RNG's definitely on his side. RNG's totally on his side. The reason I say RNG's on this side right there is because he, what's it called? It's because that's like 60% accuracy, which is absolutely ridiculous. I right, end up dropping a Behemoth Blade. He's going to end up taking me out here, no problem. I could protect, which I'm going to do. Just to try to wake up a turn. I'll protect this turn. I'm going to protect. I'm not dealing with this. I'm not dealing with this. God dang it, man. Hypnosis? Come on, yo. We land in Hypnosis. He's going to go for the Wildfire. We saw that coming from six miles away. And we're going to be able to soak up and uh, waste out of time next turn. That's not a bad turn. Hopefully my boy can wake up. If Slow King can wake up, that'd be that'd be gorgeous. He's gonna end up going for Fat Play. That's looking a little scary, but I think we can eat. Yeah, can you wake up here, Slow King? Just get a little wake up going. Oh, I love you, Slow King. Slow King, I love you. I love you. I think that might have been one of my first ever first turn sleeps. Not even gonna lie. Not even gonna lie. Might be my first ever. You'd love to hear. It. You'd love to see it too. That's a beautiful. That's beautiful. So Trick Room's out and about. Um, I'm gonna end up popping a Scald into the Charizard, take him out, and then I'm just gonna go for a Behemoth Blade. Get off as much damage as I can over onto the Gothitelle. But Gothitelle might have Trick Room, so we could max guard here and pop a Trick Room, but Behemoth Blade could do some work. But I can see this thing being Focus Ash. There's definitely a lot of different options that can actually happen here. We'll see. But yeah, I can definitely see a max guard poking out here. I'm gonna end up withdrawing Charizard. Okay. He's gonna withdraw Charizard and save it for the back end. That's fine. It's on like one HP. If it comes in here with the, with the drought, we can pop solar power. And he's gonna end up going into Incineroar. This might be a really good call because I think he's trying to save his Goth Tell here and cancel out the Trick Room. I think that's his play. That would be tough for us. But at that point, I bring out Kyogre and Dynamax. But if Trick Room's still out and about, I'll bring out Vicky Dynamax. The Skulls can come through here. Chip up some nice damage onto the, onto the Incineroar. He's gonna end up going for Hypnosis and he lands it. Come on, yo. Come on. Like, this, is this what I gotta deal with? Is this what I have to deal with? Sleeps from hypnosis that are landing at 60 accuracy. Like 60 accuracy, these things are landing. It's all good. Um, we're gonna end up going into who's slower? Vicol should be slow, right? Slowest on the field. Right, Vicol should be slowest on the field. So that seems she's gonna have to take a fake out if that happens. And yeah, I'm gonna have to go into Vicol here. All right, let me see your summon real quick. Let me see your speed. I know you're slow. 43. 31. There's no way that Gothitel is faster, right? There's no way Gothitel is faster. We're slower in this instance because we're in Trick Room. But yeah, I'm going to bring out Vicar Bowl. I'm going to Dynamax and What do I do? Do I take out the Gothitelle just so we don't go to sleep? Flutter by too. We could Flutter by. We could Lightning. Uh, I think we just get rid of the Gothitelle. Going to Gothitelle here and we have to go for a move. Might as well, right? I guess we go for a play rough over into the instant or slot. We'll roll from there. But I think he just fakes out my uh, Vicar Bowl, but I'm hoping he doesn't just go into a, uh, what is it even called? Like a parting shot and lower my stats. Let's see. We shall see. We'll be seeing. We'll be seeing. But this is where the fun's going to begin. We're Dynamaxing our lovely little bug Pokemon. Let's get rolling with this guy. And yo, that noise is wicked. <laughs> that noise is wicked that it just made. <laughs> I think it's so funny. Let's see what he does. We're going to end up going first. Cool. So we're going straight after his Gothitelle. Hopefully it's not Sash. And we just take it out. Cool. The Gothitelle's out. Turn. That's huge. We know he has Charizard in the back. Or oh, whatever Pokemon he's going to throw out is going to be slower. We got special attack drop. And what is, uh, what is Incineroar going for? It's a real question. Party shot. I bet she's party shotting. Letting the flames do the damage. No, he flare blitz straight into me. My Vic Volt's able to soak, which is cool. It's gorgeous. He takes a mean recoil damage. I'm with that all day. And he has a citrus berry. I think it's citrus berry, right? It's gotta be citrus. Uh, that might have been guap. No, it was a sweet. It was citrus. So I'm still asleep. I'm gonna go down to wildfire damage here, which is absolutely unbearable. And who's he gonna throw out here? That's the real question. Because I'm going straight into my ogre. I'm going straight into my ogre. Straight into my ogre. 
plant in the rain and oh that's tough because if he goes in the ground on here that could be a little ugly that could be a little ugly so vicable could do some work he's gonna go into charge on here char char is coming out here and the good part about this is is char is gonna come out here and we know vicable and kyogre are slower so i'm gonna take out instant War with vicable and then i'm just going to take out the Charizard. With my uh kyogre right water spout should come out in about and do i flutter by what do i do here I mean, I, I think we got to make sure that this incinerator goes out here. What does more damage? Flutterby or... Uh, we could set the terrain. I mean, what's this final Pokemon going to really be? What would be better for us? Setting the terrain? I mean, I guess making lightning moves do a bit more damage. But I think his last Pokemon is going to be uh, Groudon. So, you know what? Let's just go into Flutterby just in case he wants to swap into Groudon here. So, Flutterby is going to poke there. I'm just going to Water Spout. Just because the accuracy is higher and we don't need a lot of damage off on the Charizard. And we do not need a lot of damage off onto the Charizard. Okay, cool. I'm with this. He's going to withdraw the Charizard. Exactly why. And he's going to go into ground. So ground's going to be the final Pokemon. We are going to be able to still chip up a decent amount of damage with this Mystic Water. So I really do like. And Trick Room, how many turns left in Trick Room do we have? Let's cut, that's kind of close here. Water is going to fly here. Might have one. Oh, Trick Room might end here. Trick Room might end. We might end up losing this one. Kind of close. Definitely kind of close. Definitely kind of close. Definitely cutting it close. So we're able to drop that thing with a flutter by. We're gonna lose some life orb damage. And this thing is going to have what? A white herb. Okay, that's that's cool. I'm down to waste waste his white herb on a special attack drop. We go on a water spout, and that does a ridiculous amount of damage in the weather. An insane amount of damage in the weather. Which I love because I think that just won us the game. I think that just won us the game. Big Volt's gonna take some damage. Kyrie's gonna take a little bit of damage. That's fine. He has Charizard on low HP, and I don't think he can take out both of us. Right? Oh yeah. Rickon with a slow king that was the clutch play the one turn sleep from slow king absolutely lovely he's gonna bring out charizard on one hp and i think he just cancels battle right correct makes a lot of sense and how many turns off trick room i think we have one we do have one so he can protect this one out but we, we're gonna be able to ko through this uh through his protect so that's ggs that is ggs good old vickable dynamaxing and we grab ourselves a winning battle number one he cancels the battle there it is guys one and oh let's hop to a second look to go back to back what a way to get this video started with a win and a Vic of Old Dynamax. You absolutely love to see it, but we're going up against a nice little Dialga and Rayquaza off meta team for battle number two. I love it. Hippowdon, Sylveon, who I love and haven't used in so long. Sylveon was actually usable back when this game first came out. I used to use it all the time on the rank ladder. It was definitely a lot of fun to use. He also has the regular Moltres and he has Rosary. I think this is a good time to go into like Incineroar, Pop Trick Room, and then Pop Weakness Policy. It is sounding good. And I want to showcase it. So I, I feel like this is a team to definitely do it up, up against. So I'm going to go in with Slow King and Cinnamor. I guess I'll bring Vickable in the back if we're going to pop Trick Room. And then last but not least, where do I just go Kyrie Kazassian? Make, make life simple, you know? Probably your best bet, right? Yeah, I'm digging it. I'm digging it a lot. Let's do it. Let's lock it in. Let's lock it down. Let's look to grab ourselves a win here in battle number two. Yeah, it's, it's just Kai Ogre and Zassian are too good not to bring. Like, even if you set up a Trick Room, which I'm going to do. I feel like just having Incineroar and or not Incineroar, having uh Kyogre and Zacian is still a play. They're just so good. They're just so good. You saw how much damage that uh Zacian's wild charge did on that Charizard. I thought it was gonna take it out. We were just gonna we were just gonna take the game from there. But it left it on one, well not even one, like about 10 HP. And we and we uh we struggled a little bit there. But we're gonna go in with these two. I think I just fake out the uh the hit Paladon so he doesn't do anything to my Incineroar, and then we kinda just get rid of it. We're kind of with it. Sandstream is going to get set up here, and Intimidate's going to poke out here, which is lovely because Hip Out on is physical attacker. So Sandstream's going to come out. Uh, I'm going to pop Trick Room, and then I'm going to uh, fake out the Hip Out on, and then I think I'm just going to bulldoze and roll out this battle. So fake out coming in hot. I could Snarl. Snarl wouldn't be bad. And I'm going to pop this Trick Room. Let's do it. Because I doubt he's Dynamaxing Hip Out on. I could see him Dynamaxing Dialga all day. All right, Dialga could be scary. My only problem would be is he, if he does a lot of damage to my uh, to my what's called. Actually, this one might have been a bad call for us. Why are we going into a trick room? Hey, Paladin Diablo is so slow. I should just Dynamax and went after it this way. It's a little tough. It's a little tough for us. I, I, didn't, I didn't really think this one through, but we're still going through with the plan. We're still going through with the plan. That would be funny if uh if Diablo tries trick room on top of us and it just cancels out and everything works in our favor. That'd be beautiful. But well, we'll see what he wants to do. He's gonna end up Dynamaxing. Oh, or he's gonna end up Dynamaxing. Dude's maxing. He's maxing. I think he's going to drop a quake into my Incineroar. Could definitely be an option, but I hope he's going after my slow king. I would love it. I would love if he's going after my slow king. I would adore it. 
I don't know what he's gonna do. Fake can come out from my lovely Incineroar. I'm gonna give him the little clap skis. Mwah. Chip up some damage. Nothing is a beefy little attacker. So you go for Quake. Go after Sloking. That's going after Incineroar, isn't it? Yeah. The trick him. Definitely not the call. Definitely not the call, but I, I still feel like we can be thriving. Thriving good here. Gonna get crit too. Wow. That one hurts the soul. That one hurts the soul. Because <laughs> now, I, now I just gave him Tricker. That might have been one of the worst turns I ever had. Did you not? Did you not? We pop a Tricker. <laughs> we pop a straight up Tricker. I'm gonna have to cancel out this Tricker, so I might just go for a guard. Um. Hmm. Hmm. I'm gonna have to cancel Tricker and, and invert a lot of this. What are we going to? With Dynamax Kyrie, go for the guard, just block the shot. Not know. I guess we're gonna have to do it. I guess that's the plan. I guess that's the plan. I guess we're gonna have to uh, Dynamax guard and try to dig ourselves out this hole right here. <laughs> this is not looking good. This is not looking good. Not looking good whatsoever. Do I even guard or do I just share a prank? No, I, this has to be my Dynamax pick one. I'm gonna guard here. And I'm reversing the trick room. Oh my god, what an awful turn. <laughs> what an awful turn. If we win this battle, it'd be a miracle. So once I clicked trick room the first turn, I was just like, oh god, this could end up being really bad. Even if my even if my boy survives. So he ends up okay. Been in a rose raid. I'm cool with that. I'm fine with that, Rose Raid. I do not mind that. I'm guarding here. Doing a big old guard. Rose raid coming out in about. Um Hmm, he does have special defense boost, which kind of kind of annoys me. Kind of annoys me, so I might just target down that left lane for the rest of the battle up till up until Dynamax goes out from him, and then I can bring on Tassie and get some work done onto him. We'll see. We shall be seeing. We shall be seeing. Guards can come out here. We're hoping he's going up, going towards my Kai over here. Yes, he is. Max Lightning's gonna come in here. We're gonna get that block, and we're gonna pop a beautiful trick room back to normal. All right, so now we got this back to normal. I still kind of want to go into, go into a geyser onto the. Uh, Rosary, right? It probably will do more damage. That's exactly what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna geyser over on the Rose Raid, and then I could, I guess I'm gonna Scald. I guess I'm gonna Scald here, or I could Flamethrower, just in case he doesn't go down to that. Nah, we're fine, we're fine. I think we're fine. I think that this geyser can still take out that Rose Raid. Rose Raid is like, its special defense isn't too hot. It's not too hot. Like I get that it's not very effective, but we also have the uh, rain and the mystic water as our item. So I think this should be able to KO, right? It does not, but it cut really, really close there. Super, super close. And you sleep pattern. Get out of my face. You should be dead. Leave me alone. He puts me to sleep. How dare you? Can we get a burn onto this Diablo, please? He's gonna go for a quake here. He's gonna grant another special defense boost, and he's gonna get rolling from there. Finish my slow king. Leave my slow king alone. Who's beefing up shots? I don't mind you, slow king. I do not mind you, even though you're probably going to sleep next turn, which is kind of annoying. So he's going to waste out my dynamic next turns. I still feel like there's a shot in this. Give me a burn. Throw me a burn. Give it to me. Somehow. Oh, we got it. I love it. I love it. Big time burn. Big time burn. Uh, We're going to send, I guess, a flamethrower over towards that Rosary. Try to KO that. We get a nice burn for some more chip damage. Um, I would love the geyser, but I know I'm not waking up this turn. I know I'm not waking up, but I'll still go for the geyser over on this slot, and then I guess what would do more damage super effective flamethrower in the rain like i'm trying to like calculate this or stab not very effective scald in i think flamethrower would still do more i want somebody to let me know in the comment section down below what would do more super effective non-stab flamethrower that's in the rain or a stab skull that's in the rain that's like a good question i know there's like calculators online to like look it up but like i don't know it are you not want to waste my time during a battle and do it especially i don't want to be that that person who just has a pokemon calculator on the side while they're battling no diss on any of them i'm just saying that's just not me so king's gonna end up going to sleep which is rather annoying yeah he's gonna go for a thunderbolt and our wakan berry is poking so that leaves my boy alive another turn we're just slowly like sitting here waiting for my waiting for my squad to wake up Waiting for my Kyogre to wake up, because if my Kyogre can wake up, we can get off some big old damage. Obviously, I'm going to go for a Water Spout here. Try to get off some big damage, but this guy, this Diago right here is going to be rather annoying. This lovely little Diago is going to be annoying. Unless we get a crit. Unless we get a crit, because Water Spout is not doing too much. We're going to go into that, and I'm just going to go for this... I don't even know. 
I don't even know. I guess we'll go for a scald again. I don't, I don't even know what I want to do here. I don't even know what I want to do. But I'm going to need Zassi and take out the Alga. The Alga is just a huge threat. I'm going to wait for my Slow King to go down here. Hopefully he just Thunderbolts into him. There we go. Kyrie wakes up. Water Spout should be able to take out that Rosary. No problem. And we chip up a little bit of damage on the Alga. Can the Alga please take out my Slow King? And give me a fighting chance here? Please take out my Slow King. Go into Thunderbolt into Slow King. That Slow King? Yes. Cool. Take him out. Awesome. That's totally fine. I'm with that all day. Because now I have Kyrie. I have Zassian right here. Hopefully we can, you know, get some work done. Get some work done. Because I'm just going to freely drop Water Spouts or Origin Pulses. And then I'm going to get after this Diago with this, uh, with this Incineroar. Hit Paladon comes out here. That's, I'm cool with that. I still feel like a Water Spout could take you out. Even without the rain. So I'm popping this Water Spout. I'm getting after that. And I'm just going to play rough into that Diago. Play rough can do some damage. He has no defense boost. He has no defense boost whatsoever. So I'm really liking that. He just has special defense boost. That's why he's just soaking up these Scalds and Water Spouts. But I want to see something about this weather right, real quick. The Sandstorm. Uh, Pokemon that are Rock Ground or Steel type, it boosts his special defense. Okay. So it just boosts special defense for Rock type Pokemon. I thought maybe he'll get a, a boost here in defense, but now nah, we're good. We're going to Water Spout across the board, and then I'm going to just play Rough right into the slot. Right? Play Rough supply? Yeah. Play Rough, get a little bit of stab damage. Stab physical damage on the Dialga. Need to get it off here. Play Rough flying through here. Send it. How much damage are we doing? Beautiful. Oh my god. Beautiful baby. Zassian coming in that back end. Absolutely clean up and doing exactly what we wanted. Water Spout should be able to KO here. We should be sitting in a perfect position, right? Let's go. GG's. 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 What, what is this guy going to do up against a Kyogre and Zassian? Nothing. He's going to do nothing. If he has Rayquaza, I'm dropping it with a play rough. No problem. No problem. Yo, GG's. We dig ourselves out of that hole after we pop the Mitchell. Probably one of the worst first turns I have ever did. I kid you not, yo. <laughs> we lost our Incineroar and popped the trick him in his favor. Luckily, I was able to max guard that lightning, block that, wake up from sleeps, and just get rolling from there. But yeah, I'm just gonna drop a water spout here. Wild Charge is the last Pokemon, and I have Wild Charge for coverage. Good old Wild Charge. Which is gonna put us at 2-0. Battle is canceled. Let's go. 2-0. Let's go grab ourselves a perfect record in battle number three. Third and final battle coming at you guys, and we are going up against the Zacian and the Avelta team with Lapras, Amoongus, Incineroar, and Raikou, who's a really cool Pokemon. How should I go with this one? How should I play it? I feel like Zapdos could definitely be a really good lead up against a lot of these guys. So I might just lead Zapdos, considering he might be the only Pokemon I haven't showcased yet. But yeah, let's roll Zapdos. Let's roll Zapdos, Kyogre, Zacian, you know, obviously those two. And then last but not least, I think we just go Incineroar. Incineroar's type nice. We have the Fake Out. We have the Flare Blitz up against that uh that Amoongus. We have the Intimidate, which is huge up against Zacian. I just really like this team. I'm rolling in with the three big guns, Zacian, Zapdos, and Kyogre, and then we're rolling in Sinor. So we're rolling in with the meta Pokemon from the squad. We're going to look to grab ourselves a lovely little perfect record. But I didn't even ask you guys for question of the day. What is your guys' favorite sport? Let me, let me know in the comment section down below. And the reason I asked that is because your boy's about to go golf. And I actually woke up a couple hours early just to record this video for you guys so I can have it uploaded later in the day and not miss an upload day. Then go hit the links with the boys. So I can't wait to go golfing. Uh, I actually really like it. It's not my favorite sport, but I have a lot of fun doing it. I have a lot of fun doing this, so let me know your guys' favorite sports in the comment section down below. But he's going to end up going Raikou alongside with Yvelts, and uh, yeah, I really do. I don't mind this. I do not mind this. I do not mind this one bit. Uh, what do we do here? Just Origin Pulse and drop maybe a Hurricane? Well, not Hurricane, a Max Airstream. Let me see what other Pokemon he has, because I could drop a Lightning. I'm really leaning towards. There's no Lightning Rod. I could drop an Airstream instead. What's your speed? What, what What's your speed, Zapdos? How fast are you? If you're faster than this, uh, Yvelta, I would go into an airstream. You're probably not. Don't look like it. Do not look like it. I think I'm just gonna lightning here. I'm gonna take a little bit of speed. Which I am gonna do. I'm gonna take a little bit of speed. I'm just gonna Origin Pulse across the board. That's gonna be my play, because Yvelta should be fast on the field. And he does not Dynamax. Cool. I'm with this. I think he might swap the Yvelts. Or he might protect it. I don't know. I do not know. Raku is here. It could set up screens. But it might go for a Volt Switch. That's why I did go for an Origin Pulse instead of a Water Spout. I'm kind of with that. I'm kind of with this. I'm kind of with this. So we're going to Dynamax or Zip Zap. We're going to get buzzing with him. See what kind of work we can get done with him. And he's going to end up just protecting him straight up the Okay, that's fine. That is totally fine. He's going to go first. He's just going to snarl me. Oh, wow. That's a, that's a phenomenal snarl. That's an incredible snarl. That is an incredible snarl. Origin Pulse can come through here. Connect on the Raikou, please. Please. Thank you very much. So, connects on the Raikou. 
Probably gonna do about half damage. I don't know. We're minus one. And yeah, it does about half damage. Airstream's gonna fly. We do have speed on the board now, so Water Spout is probably gonna reply. Do a little bit more damage than just straight up drop a lightning like that. So yeah, Water Spout, Lightning. Should be able to get enough work done. We have the speed now, which is gorgeous. And Snarl is definitely scary. The Snarl is definitely scary, but yeah. That's a big time Snarl play. We're going to Lightning here. We're gonna go into Water Spout, and we're gonna get buzzed. We are indeed gonna get buzzed. God dang Snarls, man. I would love to swap out one of these Pokemon eventually, but I don't know. I guess we'll see. Maybe the Kyogre just get the Intimidate off, but he's going to end up Dynamaxing Yvelte right here, right now. Okay. So Yvelte's going to take some damage. We are going to hit it with a Max Lightning. We are going to hit it with a Water Spout, and I think we take out Raikou here as well, which is not too bad. So we get him to actually waste his Dynamax. I feel like he could have more value using a different Pokemon. Because we have speed now due to that Airstream, which is huge. Unless he Airstreams back this turn. Hopefully he doesn't Airstream back. He might just go for like a Dark Overlord turn. He still outspeeds with Raikou? That's, that's weird. That's weird. That's a fan. That might be a choice scarf, Raikou. That's got to be choice scarf. That's got to be choice scarf. Water spots gonna poke through here, and oh my god, we do not take out Raikou. He lives on one. The boy lives on one. We get off his lightning. It does like nothing. Hopefully, this thing's not weak as possible. That thing's got to be choice scarf. One thousand percent, it has to be choice scarf, right? It's definitely gotta be choice scarf. Let's see what movie rolls into. It is weakness policy. Oh no, dude. Oh no. No bueno. Is he going for an airstream? No, he's go straight for darkness. Go straight for darkness. That probably KOs me, right? Ouch. Definition of ouch. Um, okay. I mean, good thing you didn't go for an airstream because that makes my Zassian fast on the field. I kind of want to swap my Kyogre. Not even going to lie. I kind of want to swap my Kyogre here. Just so I can get off that, uh... Get off that, uh... The Snarl drops, man. Or I can save my Intimidate. Let's jump. Actually, let's do that. Because player off should be able to take out... You built it, no problem. And then I can just drop a water spout and get rid of that uh, Raikou. Kind of with that. Play rough this. And then go into just a water spout. It's just because accuracy is higher and Raikou's on 1 HP. I'm with it all day. I'm with it all day. And then I can swap him next turn. He's going to withdraw the Raikou. Who's he going to go into from here? And Sinor's going to poke out here. So that's, huh, that's a great swap from him. But I still feel like Play Rough should be able to KO. Shall be seeing. We shall be seeing. Hopefully he's not guarding. Because then he can just fake me out next turn. Oh my. God, this god dang guy. This little biscuit. Water spout coming out here. How much damage are you doing to that Sinor? It's a minus two. That's all minus two. It's still whipping damage. That is still whipping damage. Um, From here, we got to protect his ass. That's our one and only play. That is our one one and only play. Playoff comes out here. gets blocked. Uh, ch -ch -ch -ch. I just double protect. I am probably going to double protect here. Just so he doesn't read anything. I know he has weakest policy proc, but I don't want to swap into my uh, instant roar and have him read the protect onto the Zassian. And just double down instant roar and get rid of him. I'd rather just double protect and reset this last turn. The double protect coming out from the squad. We just need Zassian to take out the Shivelta and we'll be thriving. Big out comes out onto who? Onto Zassian. Wow, I could have just swapped into instant roar. Because he's doubled down the Zassian note. Like, oh, dude, he in the airstreams too. Oh no, he goes into that slot. If he does that, I have to swap into my more. That is tough. That is tough. Hmm. But his Dynamax is over, which is big news for us. He gets a little bit of speed. I'm kind of cool with this. I'm kind of cool with this. So, yeah, I'm just going to play rough in this slot, and I'm just going to hard swap into my Incineroar and get my Ky Kyogre stats back to normal. God dang you, Belta. Dude, I always struggle when playing up against you, Belta. It's just such a good Pokemon all around. It really is. Is an absolute menace. But even though we are uh, even on the attack board with Zassian, we lost our plus one. He still can do a ridiculous amount of damage with this uh, play rough. Should be able to take out Yvelta, no problem. We're going to go into Incineroar. Intimidate drop, which is going to be nice onto that on his Incineroar. And then we have a fake out chance, which is huge. But I do dig it. And this Incineroar can hit pretty hard. And Rain's going to end soon. Let's see how it goes. He's going to end up protecting. That's, that's cool. I don't really care. I do not really care. Play rough's going to come out here. Gonna get blocked, and what's he gonna go for? Party shot, maybe? He does. You little buttery biscuit. You little buttery biscuit. Um, I could fake out and bring back out Kyogre, and swap my Zassian. But dude, Zassian can still take out with this play rough. I, I, I don't care. I don't care. He can still take out with this play rough. I'm with it all day. And then I can just fake out his Zassian, which is exactly what I'm gonna do. Zassian, you're getting faked out. We're not playing games. We're not playing games. <laughs> We're not playing games. I'm faking you out, Zassian. 
Let's do it. Let's make it happen. So, play off coming across the board, and then we're just faking you out. That's my play. That is my play. Is he going to swap back into Incineroar? Wow, we didn't even pick up KO yet. That hurts the soul. We didn't even pick up KO yet. He goes into Incineroar. God dang, man. Incineroar with the swap. He's going to intimidate me. How dare you? How dare you do that? I know we did a lot of damage onto one of his Pokemon. Who was it? We chipped up a lot of damage onto one of his Pokemon. He ends up protecting. Uh, I think I might have to hard swap here. Fake out coming in hot. He's going to get blocked. And this guy's playing really good. Well, we just can't get swept here. We just cannot get swept. Right off doing some decent damage, but we're minus three at this point. We're, mi we're minus two, which is kind of ugly. It's definitely kind of ugly. We just hard swap in the Kyogre. And then we just go into like a Flare Blitz EQ. I think we just Flare Blitz right over to this Assassin slot. Let's do it. Let's do it. We're going to Swapper's Assassin. Rip right into him. But who did he lead? He led the Zeobelt to somebody else. And we chipped up a lot of damage on that other Pokemon. I totally forget who it is. But he's been protecting a lot of good shots with you out here. Sacred Sword coming in hot. Can you eat that? You cannot. Wow, you just get absolutely dumpstered on. Absolutely dumpstered on. Definition of dumpster. And he's just going to go into Flare Blitz. We're going to be able to easily soak that. And we're going to roll from there. Okay. Now we're sitting here. I could protect... I could protect the uh, Ogre here. And deal some damage onto the... Uh, onto the Zassian slot. That wouldn't be a bad play. I think I'm going to do because we know his Zassian outspeeds uh, my Kyogre. So if I can protect him, I think he is going to go after him, try to take him out, and then just drop a mean old Behemoth Blade over on the slot. We could be good. I do think he's going to party shot into my Zassian on this turn, right? Oh, he just straight up withdraws in Sinoran. Who's he going to go into? Back in Yvelta? Yes. Yvelta's going to come back out here. He's going to swap him next turn. And this does give us like a somewhat sort of a fighting chance, right? Let's see how this one goes. That, no one. God dang it, man. This guy's just making some great protects. Just making some great protects. I'm not even going to lie. I'm not even going to lie. Dude, his protects are on point. His protects are on point. I would have loved to get off that damage. But from here, we're going to have to go for an Origin Pulse. And I'm just going to Behemoth Blade into the slot. Run it. Run it. Dude, we can't get swept. We have to pick up a KO. We have to pick up a KO. We have to pick up a lovely KO. Get after it, baby. Let's do it. Let's do it. We have to pick up a KO here. He's going to withdraw his ass in. Okay. I think, we, I think this is where we pick up KO. I think this is where we pick up the KO. I think Yvelta would go after his ass in, right? Or would he go after Kyogre? Let's see what he does. But he must play it. I don't know if that's going to take it out. He protects. Okay. So this is where we don't get swept. This is, this is good for us. It's good for us. Because you, you guys know my two rules. We don't go 0-3 in a video. And we don't get swept in a battle. So we're going to be able to take out Incineroar. No problem here. Which is gorgeous. See you later, buddy. Did I take him out? That doesn't, but we still have Origin Pulse flying. If Origin Pulse misses, I'm going to cry a little bit. Just a tad bit. Just a tad bit. Cool, it connects. Yes, no sweat. No sweep. Okay, so, uh, what do we do from here? What do we do from here? I think we protect our Ogre. I think we try to do what we did last time. Last time. We just protect the Ogre. I mean, Yvelta just protected that turn. So we might we might not want to protect the ogre. Let's see let's see who else one plays out here. It depends who he goes into. Is he going back into Zassian? Or is he going back into Okay, right, never mind, he goes into Zassian. Zassian is coming out here. Let's do it. Um I think I gotta protect here. I think he might protect too. Huh. I'm gonna get rid of this Shivelta at this point. I'm just gonna protect you and I'm I'm gonna protect the protect from Zassian. Zassian's been protecting a lot here. He's been protecting a lot, but watch, he's not gonna protect this turn. But yeah, we're protecting the uh, Ogre here. Ogre is getting the protection. We're looking to win this battle, dude. If we can win this battle, this will be a miracle. We protect Kyogre. Zassian does not protect, which is kind of ugly. And hopefully he goes after my Kyogre here. No, he goes straight for Behemoth Blade. God dang it. He, out he outsped me anyway, so he might have won the speed tie or he's just faster. That's gonna do big old damage to me. We end up eating, but Zassian should go next, which is not too shabby here. Dang, dude, we should have went for the what's called. We should have went for the Origin Pulse. Origin Pulse could have did some big damage. Origin Pulse could have... Oh, my God, dude. That could have maybe won us the game there. Let's see who he goes into here. We saw the shot here because Origin Pulse can just get after it. And it's Raikou, this little booger here. He was on one HP. He was legit on one HP. And he's choice scarfed. Hate this game. Origin Pulse coming out here. Um, I guess we'll rip into a uh, 
a behemoth blade I don't know what's gonna happen here that's one good play he's gonna go straight for a thunderbolt knew it I think he's choice scarf all day he's choice scarf all day he's cooking I forgot about him he's on one HP and he's probably gonna he's got this one on lock yeah he's been outspeeding me that's GG's that is GG's even if uh even if I did protect Kyrie he still won that battle but not a bad third and final battle we actually almost got swept not gonna lie, I came down to the wire, but this guy was making some incredible packs, incredible reads, and incredible swaps. My man Gale, thank you so much for leaving this team in my Twitter DMs. I really appreciate you and really love the rental code. Absolutely love the Vicar Bolt. We got to showcase him in battle number one. The Slow King and Incineroar combo. We didn't really get to showcase that off, but you guys get the general just We tried to do it in battle number two. And then battle number three, we ended up losing. You know, Yvelta kind of did some big work up against us. But guys, that's going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread some positive today. I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace out, everybody.